Hey everyone, Bob here again. Our lesson for today is the VLOOKUP exercise for our sample uh, list, inventory list for inventory management. Okay, so this time around, we're gonna be using Google Sheet or Google Spreadsheets, okay? This is part of the Google Chrome. Google Sheet offers lookup a function to help you find and display values that appear in long lists. So we're going, we're going to ha be ha having a long list of inventory list here. So the lookup function enable you to search for and display values in a list based on corresponding values in the first column or row. For your convenience, an inventory list for inventory management has been created, which I'm having here. So the thing that we're gonna be looking for is the pin location, the name, the description, unit price, quantity in stock, inventory value, reorder level, reorder time in days, which we're gonna have, we're gonna be looking this from the inventory list to the next, uh, sheet right here. So we're gonna be uh, looking for the stock ID because this is supposed to be a long list. So if we're going to find the the uh, item manually and it will be difficult for us to find it. That's why that is the purpose of the VLOOKUP. So we get a stock ID, bin location, name, description, unit price, quantity in stock, inventory value, reorder level, and reorder time in days, okay? So go back to the first uh, sheet, which is this one, which is displayed now. So the search value would be, or the search uh, cell would be from the stock ID. When we, type the stock ID, we'll be able to get all the, the this, all this item here, all the, the values here, okay? In the next uh, cells, okay? So in the inventory list, we got stock ID starting from 12001, okay? So let's say for example, if we put 12001 here, we'll be able to find all these other uh, item that we're looking for. Okay, we start with bin location. So since this is a VLOOKUP exercise, we're gonna be using a, the VLOOKUP function. So we're gonna type equal sign, okay? Then VLOOKUP. Then just press tab. The search key would be this one, the stock ID, okay? As I said earlier. So that's, that's gonna be in B3, cell location. So every time you, you uh, if you want to copy uh, a cell location and copy it to another cell locations, we should uh, use the uh, absolute cell reference, which we have discussed in my previous uh, video, okay? So just press F4 in your keyboard, okay? Then you get double uh, dollar sign or dollar sim symbol, okay? That would be the first one, the, uh, okay? And then we're gonna press the column, okay? The range is actually the array. Okay, we're going to get our uh, records from the inventory list in the next uh, sheet. So we're gonna be, okay, uh, selecting all the array, the entire array or the range. This one, we start with 12001. Okay, then all the way down to the last record. which would be on I-50, okay? Then 
comma. Okay, the next one would be the index. What is the index? Okay, index would be the column, the number of columns. Like, uh, if you see here, the A, column A, that would be column number one. Okay, that would be the index. And the B is, would be the column number two. C is column three. D is four. E is five. So on and so forth. Okay. So the first one that we're going to be looking at, or rather looking for, is the bin location. So that would be B column or number two column. So just press two. Is sorted, we don't need that one. So you just uh, close it with uh, closing parentheses. Okay. Then press enter. Okay. So it is uh, error. It shows error, displays error because we don't have I we don't have value here in the stack ID. Okay. But before that, we're going to copy the um, formula that we have here in the bin location all the way down to reorder time and days. So we're going to copy it. How are you going to copy it? Just drag here. Okay, drag it down to reorder time and days. Okay. All right. So you see here we have in the next uh, sheet, we have 12. 001 as our first stack ID. So let's say we type the 12001. Okay, it shows A1. That is the in index number two or column number two. That is the, that would be the bin location. Okay. So, okay. So here it shows error because uh, the the formula includes number two index. So we're gonna change that to number three. The next one, which is the name, number three. Okay. Okay, we made a mistake here. Okay, the, that, is, that, that is the important of the importance of the uh, uh, what you call uh, cell reference, no? absolute cell reference. So, okay, before you copy that, we have to put as absolute cell references, which is pressing the F4 to, to display the dollar sign, okay? okay? And then we copy again, see if we're going, we're having it right this time. Okay, let's see, I think we're having it right now. All you have to do is just change the uh, column index to three. Okay, that would be the name of the uh, item, bolt. And then the next one would be four. The next column, head hex, 10 millimeter. The next one is five, column number five. Unit price, $10. And the next one would be index, column number six. And the next one would be seven. And the next reorder level is eight. Okay. okay. So it's easy if we, uh, rather than do the B lookup, do the, the uh, when we started it with bit location, doing the B lookup, using the B lookup function, it takes time to do it every item. Rather than doing that, we just you know copy it down and then you just change the the index number. And this one for this one is nine. Okay, it's easier, much easier, and much quicker if you do that rather than uh, uh, okay uh, writing or typing the VLOOKUP functions all over again or the entire uh, formula. Okay, so we already have it. Stack ID is 12001, bin location is A1, it is bold, description is 6 head 10 millimeter, unit price is $10. Quantity in stock is 100 pieces, 
inventory value is 1,000. This is $10 multiplied by 100. That would be $1,000. And reorder level is 50, day, 50 uh, pieces. Okay, so when this one, this 100 reaches uh, 50 pieces because of the withdrawals of some uh, end users, and it goes down to 50, then that, that is the time that you are going to reorder. And reorder time in days is 10 days. So this would be included in our inventory management. So let's see if we have the right uh, item. Yeah, 1201, A1, bolt, hex head, 10 millimeter, $10. 100 pieces, 1,000, 50 uh, pieces reorder in 10 days uh, time or days. Okay, so we got it right. Let's say we get 12,002. Okay, that would be, the item is washer and description is flat, eight millimeter, $5, quantity in stock, 150, et cetera. Okay, it's easy. It's a 12010, or rather, sorry. Uh, okay, 010. Zero zero. All right. Head hex, stainless steel, 40 millimeter. The description of the stock. 12015, 12020, 12025. Okay. 12.030, okay. So the last one I think it was 12.047, okay, metal sheet. GI, two millimeter by 1.5 meter by three meter. It's a unit price $24, okay. It's very easy, okay. You can do it for your inventory management. You can do it for your, um, maybe in manufacturing, uh, list, list of products, uh, list of stocks, okay? So many things you can do. If, as long as you have a long list of uh, the Google Sheet list, then it takes time to do it, to, to look for the item manually, then you use VLOOKUP. And you can use, you can do this in your own exercise. Okay, that, this, this is all I got for you today. So I hope you like this uh, lesson for today. If you do, please subscribe and hit notification bell so that you'll be notified of new upcoming uploads of my new videos. And thank you for watching.